So we landed in Cancun and headed over to Tulum. We drove there, we booked a taxi and we drove there. We were staying at the Hilton Tulum Rivera Maya. It's a beautiful resort, it's an all-inclusive resort. That means you get food, drinks, free. They had about seven restaurants there. And a couple of bars. The hotel was nice, but obviously there were some different issues going on. But we got welcome drinks and we headed over to check in and do the paperwork. Hola. I love the fact that all the guests got these bracelets with um, essentially they were keys so you use the bracelets to open your doors and get entry into different places like you use them to check you into restaurants this was where you're not it was the first restaurant we went to it always has buffets um, overall I would give this restaurant a 6 because they did have some stuff but not things that I knew I don't think they were i guess it's mexico and all but i don't think they were really like friendly to international people i guess the point is for you to try different meals but um i only had mussels here and chicken and fish everything else i didn't like the taste of so this restaurant i'll give it a six We literally ran to get food because we haven't eaten all day, literally. So, and we have plantain, which is nice. I haven't had plantain in so long. Oh my god. Chicken, plantain, I have rice and peas. I don't usually eat pork, but they didn't have a like sauce, so I have to take this. What do you call it? Pork and I have a narrow sauce. Yeah, and then I have mussels. You guys, mussels. I love mussels so much. Actually, I don't think I've had them. So good. <laughs> so I went back for the mussels because it tastes so good. And then I got some um, tortilla chips and pico de gallo and um, avocado salsa. And, yeah. From the ground floor, I didn't want to on the ground floor, but right. It's what they had at the Take a shower, like, take a shower and sleep. I'm getting ready for tomorrow, honestly. But we booked a double queen bedroom, which upon arrival we realized was massive. The beds were really big and the room itself was massive. One thing about the room that we loved was the fact that the toilets were separated from the shower in case somebody wanted to do the number two and another person wanted to shower, which happened occasionally. So that was really cool. Upon arrival, we noticed that there were some insects in the accommodation, in the hotel room, and that was a no because I actually got a bite when I got there. I'm super sensitive, so I was not happy. I was scratching and all. I think they could have done better cleaning the room upon arrival, but subsequently room service, um, housekeeping was good. And there was a mini bar, mini fridge that had different um, things inside like pop and whatnot, but I don't really drink soda. I don't, I, do, I don't drink pop. I don't know why I said pop and soda. <laughs> I don't drink soda. So yeah, and then there were some snacks there as well and they would come in and refill it every morning but they barely refilled ours because we literally didn't even eat much from there.
in Tulum. Is it Tulum or Tulum? I don't know. I say Tulum. 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 Anyways, we're here. This is officially day one. We got in last night and we're pretty tired. So we had food, as you guys would have seen. We had food at the restaurant, Bella. They say V like V, so Bea, Bea Not. Bea Not. Hey, you guys, by the time I leave this place, my Spanish will be A1. Gracias. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so um, we're headed out now to a Sinote by the grace of God because we're meant to go to Basica Sinote. That one is really pretty, picturesque, all of that. But they don't open on Thursdays, which I did not realize. And I have to go today because I want to take out this hair. This hair is like almost killing my vibe. Anyways, I have to take out this hair. You know, I try to do this hair myself. <laughs> Epic fail. Anyways, we're going now to I think it's Grand. I don't know Grand something, but it's another pretty Sinote. We're gonna go there. She doesn't swim. You guys, this is no sin. Hi. By the way, say hi. Hi. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys there. Bye. So we're just waiting for the um, cart. I meant to wait about eight minutes before they come and get you. So we're waiting now, and it's flipping hot. It's so hot. See my face, I'm cold without you But I'm hurting my own you And my heart can't take no more I keep on running back to you we didn't end up going to the cenote so i just ended up doing beach yoga and i was in pain this thing is not easy how do you guys do pilates if this is yoga what is pilates my gosh So I'm getting ready for dinner now. We didn't end up going to the Sinote because I think we just struggled figuring out transportation and I was hungry and it was about 4 p.m. I think or 3 p.m. So I was kind of over it. Now I'm just going to start doing my makeup and Go for dinner. I'm pretty late already for the dinner, but tell me something new. My camera is not staying properly. Brows, I'm using the e.l.f. duo instant lift and the pen. So I'm just gonna take with my one size powder as always i love this powder so much and i think i got the travel side because i wasn't sure if i was going to like it and also so that when i'm traveling i don't have to always carry the full size the craziest thing happened to me oh my word the craziest thing happened to me i don't know if it's my fault or i just didn't know but like i clearly overpacked for this trip and you know <laughs> I didn't like I didn't plan myself well. I've been so busy, like yeah. Um I ended up having to so basically apparently not basically apparently so there's a limit on like liquids you're allowed to take to travel, I think um in, like yeah obviously internationally in your carry on. So in my carry on I thought it was just like hundred ml that was the limit, but apparently you have to have a ziplock that everything amounted to a liter so i had stuff that couldn't fit into the ziplock like i had cases of my toiletries different things i came here i landed here and i didn't have i didn't have shower gel i had to purchase shower gel in the hotel so um please when you're traveling check in all your liquids and i had a check-in suitcase but i don't know it just didn't register first of all i thought the suitcase was going to be good for like checking sorry for um like as a carry-on but obviously it wasn't um yeah obviously it wasn't and i got into shit for it so i had to leave all my stuff at piercing and i'm hoping that when i go back to piercing to canada it will be in the lost and found that's my strategy 
that's my strategy. I'm not phased though, I'm, it's just crazy that it happened. Because most of the stuff they're already like partially done and things I bought for this trip. I know it's money and all, but I couldn't let my makeup go. So I held on to this. I'm using my shadow to break concealer to clean up my brows. I'm just going to put some underneath, like so. And then obviously clean up. I love that um, concealer so much. I'm literally rushing. And I'm going to use my Fenty BC in 470W for the top. I really like this concealer for color correcting. I'm taking my NYX brow tint pen just to draw some more strokes in my brows. Define them a bit more. Day four of leveling up my eyeshadow game and we are in Tulum, Mexico. So I'm going for dinner now, but I don't have to hurry up and do a look. I don't know what I'm going for. I'm taking this palette. I brought this palette and I brought the Queen Amna palette. So I was proper impressed by it. So I'm just going to do something very quick. I might end up with a bronze eye, but I don't know. I think I couldn't even wash my brushes because look at this blue from the other look. So I'm just going to take this one. Wow, I was watching a video that Huda, the video Huda Beauty um, dropped. I think it was today or yesterday, I'm not sure. But wow, Huda has grown so, so much and her brand has grown as well. Now she's saying that she's going to come in with them. Um, what do you call them changes and whatnot she's literally rebranding i wonder what the new logo is going to look like because yeah and the new products i want to get the there's like a cream palette thing that she has brought out it's like cream formulation eyeshadow i want to try it when i get back to Toronto, i'll probably try and purchase it and i don't even know how much it is i'll probably get the minis because that's one thing i've learned now always get minis so then I'm going in with this or um, like a copper tone, putting it here. I'm literally winging this. I have no clue what I'm wearing tonight, but I have some outfits, so I should be fine, honestly. I'm doing my eyeshadow. So I'm trying to level up my eyeshadow game, and I've been posting. I think I posted three times on. I'm trying to post like more me doing my eyeshadow. And one of my friends actually messaged me and she was like, oh, that inspired her. <laughs> I was like, whoa, not me being an inspiration, but proper leads. I hate lights, lights in hotel, like you don't do anything. possible that I can come out looking like color eyes. So I just use my L foundation safe so yeah then I'm blending it in with this cookie. I can't remember where I saw this like technique of doing your face this way but I like it. So I've been doing it quite a bit. I look dark skin because I'm dark skin. I'm not light, please. Make me harder. Make me lose my breath. Make me water. Can you blow my mind? Okay, like I said, we're in a rush. We're in a rush. We're in a rush. I'm using this elf blush for the first time. If you let me. It's not opening. I'm not meant to do something. Ugh. Okay. 
Why do I do things like this? I'm in a rush, then I'm trying new products. I can't believe I'm the person using blush. I can't believe this is me. I can't believe this. I'm trying to get it to dry a bit. There was a baby on the plane. Two, three babies. They, they were just screaming and screaming. As in, like screaming. Oh, bro. The biggest. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, but the challenge. Oh, but the challenge. Jing, jing. Don Cafeto was amazing, so so yummy, authentic Mexican. You can never go wrong with him. Boy, you know I really love you. I can't deny. I can't see how you could bring me to so many tears. He decided to check out some tequila stores, and this was a tequila and mezcal store. They had literally everything. The guy there was such a businessman. He was in his bag. He was not even budging on any discounts. We did try some tequila. We, we tried some chocolate, tequila, and guava, and they were really, really good. I'm so tired. <laughs> we're in another tequila store now. Um, we're trying to find a good price. As the Africans that we are. Giving me Queen of the South. Here we came souvenir shopping. Uno para ti. Uno para mi amiga. Salud. Salud. Salud for good tequila. You're in Mexico. Enjoy your tequila. Bien bueno. For dinner, we went to Ilios. It's a Greek restaurant, and the vibe there was giving. The vibe was amazing. People were partying. The food was good. Service was amazing. It's a must in Tulum. Oh, We're literally begging for Afro beats. I'm sitting here about to cut my hair and like I feel myself moving forward and back. Like I'm just going like this. Well, I'm not moving like, consciously. Like <laughs> at this point, at this point, I'm just crying in all inclusive because I was drinking and drinking and drinking. There we a match with another local guy aside from hell, and uh, we're gonna be exploring the ocean. <laughs> Please. 
has been kept so well but it's so hard to walk around because i'm using these sheet-in slippers that so fingers crossed going into a cave i feel like food <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh salida I'm going tomorrow, going back to cold Toronto. This place is so beautiful. <laughs> I keep wearing my glasses like a crazy person. But yeah, this is my first drink of the night. I'm gonna get drunk, I'm gonna get wasted, I'm gonna pass out and be on my flight tomorrow. Okay, my flight is 10 p.m. So let's see. There's like three weddings here, and I'm just like, oh my god, love, love is cute. When she was like, you, you should model. Are you a model? I was like, no. She's like, you should model like some face. She's not whining me. She was dead serious. <laughs> she was like, her face. She was like, I know, I'm serious. Like some face modeling or something. Like, I was like, period. <laughs> Period. You guys hear that? So take me seriously on YouTube because I'm a model. Okay. I'm going to eat now the seafood place because I didn't get to try it out, so I'm going there now. So I came to Casa Two and I'm having a pina colada. I haven't had one since I've been here, and it's so refreshing. Like it's really, really nice. So I'm just going to eat. I don't know what time it is. I'm going to eat and then I'll head out and grab me my friend. So it's officially my last day in Tulum. 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 It's officially my last day in Tulum and I'm all packed up, ready to leave. My flight is at 12 a.m. It was scheduled for 10, but Air Canada, being Air Canada, has done the most and daily for about two hours so we'll see if we even fly out tomorrow morning because essentially it's going to be in the morning we'll go eat and maybe walk around a bit because we have a lot of time to kill and i'm not just going to be sat in the lobby but yeah overall i enjoyed my trip i wish i did more but i can always come back here maybe i'll go to cancun next or like Cabo, something i don't know we'll see um yeah i enjoyed the trip wish i did more the resort could have been hit better, like 10 times better. There's so many things wrong. Like for instance, I showered with cold water a couple of times and our room is hot. Like it's, I'm here and it's hot. So yeah, I'm just, overall the resort was okay, but could have been better. Being healthy, yeah. See you in Canada.